Hi guys, so I want to show you how to do a little bit of self lock maintenance for while you're locked down. <laughs> so let's get into it. So here I'm showing you the more mature part of the dread, the part that's already been crocheted previously. It's uh, sitting quite happily. It's uh, not getting too fuzzy on its own. Yeah, so that's just that area there. And to contrast, you have the regrowth area. So you've got lots of loose hair here. You've got a very loose area and it's really fuzzy. So you can see, you can pull, you can fan this area apart and it's um, literally, you can put your, your finger straight through it. So that's the area where you need to focus on. Okay, so as you can see here, we have two sections that have grown out by about the same amount. As you can also see over time, this is something that happens. Sometimes they can start to merge together at the roots. So that's something that we're gonna need to unpick before we can begin crocheting and tightening the roots just to remove that little bridge and make sure everything's very separated and neat and tidy sections. So now I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to begin very gently unpicking this little bridge that's formed over, over time in between these roots. I'm going to also wiggle my finger through along the section and just through like touching the scalp so that I can find any other little stray hairs that are connecting into the neighbouring dread. If I can't unpick them or I think it's going to be painful for whoever's sitting in the in the chair, I can use my scissors just to snip that little bit there, just to um, free up the, the section and make the sections nice and tidy. As you can see, that's what I've done here. The sections are looking nice and neat now. So here we have the uh, grown out root isolated so you can see it a bit clearer. We've got yeah, quite a long section of regrowth that's uh, still attached to the dread and some regrowth that is not attached to the dread, it's just loose hair. We're going to uh, try and incorporate this back into the dread so we can make it nice and neat. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to splay that out a little bit if we can and we're going to wrap some of this loose hair around the uh, around the, the root and then use the crochet hook to secure it in place. So we're going to pinch our fingers just on the right hand side here and then wrap that loose hair all the way around to the left hand side. Again, pinch it on the right hand side, wrap and then we're pinching it tightly on the left so that the right hand side is clean and neat and tightly wrapped and then on the left hand side, as you can see, this is where all of the loose hair is coming out. So we can crochet from right to left and we'll pull all that loose hair that's on the left back into the middle of the, of the dread. So insert the crochet hook and scoop some of that loose hair up into, and pull it into the center. You can work on the say on one area, first of all, just to tighten that root. Twisting the hook as you go can be quite an effective way to make a more secure crochet. Hopefully you can see every now and again I'll stop and rewrap. Just get any loose hair that I can see on the right hand side and wrap it over to the left hand side so that the hook can then scoop it up. Sometimes changing the angle of the hook can be very helpful too. Angle it up and down. As you can see, that's a nice tight root there. Now it's just this little area here that we need to incorporate. So we'll move down and begin working on that area. The tighter you pinch with your left hand, your thumb between your thumb and your forefinger, the tighter sometimes that can make the crochet. 
I'm trying not to pinch at all so I can show you what's happening but normally I would all of this would be done in between my left thumb and forefinger and once you're happy with that you can give it a little palm roll that's a really effective way to get any last little bits that haven't quite been incorporated using the hard parts of your hand so I the, the bony part of your fingers or your or the pads of your hands using that part to rub really really hard build up a little bit of heat rub it in one area and just focus on that for a few seconds and that really helps to uh, to finish off the uh, outer edge I'm a perfectionist so I'm just neatening up this little bit here too <laughs> Okay, so that's your tightened root. So that's that should look a lot neater and be a lot more comfortable for your that member of your friends and family that you want to practice root maintenance on. So there you have it. I hope that was useful for you. Uh, please let me know how you get on and join me on Facebook and Instagram. Keep in touch. If you have any questions, I would really love to answer them. If you decide to have a go using this method, post a picture on social media and tag me so I can see your lovely handiwork. I'd really love to see it. If you like this video and you got something out of it, you should come and visit my website at elementallocks.co.uk. I've actually created a few different um, training courses that you can do. Um, you can come and visit me and do one-on-ones and I can teach you everything from doing DIY dreads at home or for uh, if you want to become a professional loctician like myself, you can do that too. So uh, come and visit me. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. Don't spread that virus. Stay home and make dreadlocks. <laughs>